Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> Lordy, people, build a wall. Don't build a wall. Just make a decision. Let's all work together because at this point, y'all are directly impacting my family budget. So today we're going to talk about the government shutdown and how that directly impacts my family's budget and how we're going to cope and make it through this debacle. And hey, before I jump in, please, no political comments down below. I am all about free speech, but as a government employee, I will have to delete those comments. So please, it's against my morals to inhibit your free speech. So don't make me go against my morals. Please, just let's keep this about money. And when I say money, I mean my budget, not government money. Because that, that, yeah, no, we're not going to talk about that. Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia. My husband Mauricio and I both work for the U.S. government, me as a direct hire and Mauricio as a contractor. We both love our jobs a lot, but when the government shuts down, it's annoying because we don't get paid. Well, I don't get paid. Mauricio still gets paid. As long as there's no stop work order, he will still continue to receive a paycheck. But a stop work order could actually come at any time, so we need to be completely prepared for it. So on Monday, you saw our lovely, well thought out January 2019 family budget. And I put that up because I was really hoping by the time this video was going to go live that that would be all repaired and we could just move forward with our regular budget. But alas, that is not the case. So we're just going to go ahead and wipe that slate clean. So we're going to go over everything line by line, item by item with our previous budget. And then I'm going to tell you what's staying and what's going because some of the things legitimately have to stay. But before we get started, I need to remind you, Mauricio and I are one full month ahead. So everything we earned in December went to pay January's bills. And then Mauricio's paychecks will continue to come in. And should this go really, really long, we actually have... I. I don't know off the top of my head, probably eight to nine thousand dollars in sinking funds that we could go ahead and take from if we had to. But I don't want to do that if I don't have to. But what we're planning to do is use as little money as physically possible and pay the absolute essentials. You know, you're going to ask, this is not a lifestyle I would ever want to live. I can absolutely cut down to this kind of budget to get out of debt completely, but I'm not going to because this is an extreme budget, a completely, it's like the cabbage soup equivalent if you're dieting. You can do it for a very, very, very short time, but sustainability is impossible. So we are going to do what we can to survive this but hopefully we won't have to do it for very long. So let's go over everything. In our housing category, we had our storage unit and we are going to pay that bill because it's auto drafted and I don't want them to sell my stuff. In our utilities category, we will continue paying our mobile phones and we just paid Skype, so likely we will not have to pay Skype in the month of January, but we will probably be restricting our calls down to Columbia as much as physically possible. In our grocery budget, we are taking that down as low as we can and we are going to try and eat completely out of the freezer, buying as little as possible, maybe just milk and some minor produce, but it is going to be freezer food all the time. And fortunately for us, we have a big freezer. And then in school books, we're going to nix that. And Melina is going to have to take her lunch every day because it is far cheaper than buying a school lunch. And in transportation, we are back to carpooling as much as possible. Mauricio and I have been driving separately for the last couple of months. 
actually it's been about three or four months and you can see an increase in our gas, but we are going to continue driving together using the hybrid vehicle so we don't spend that money. And there will be days that Mauricio will have to go without me and that'll be fine. We'll deal with that, but we're going to try and spend as little on gas as possible. And in fact, Mauricio told me we needed to change the oil in the car and I said, no way, no how, it's going to have to wait until February. So yeah, it's, we're, it's a little tough love time. And then the easy pass, we're going to try and stay off the toll road as much as physically possible, which really isn't that hard for us at all. And all of our insurance and tax will be paid because it's insurance and you don't want that to lapse ever. In the health category, all of our health will be paid. Should something come up, like we receive a bill or whatever, then we will deal with that when we deal with it, but probably will stall on paying any bills until like February. But most, most of my doctors, when they send us a bill, they don't expect it like the next day. And in the savings category, these things are actually drafted out of my account at the very end of the month. So if we are still in a shutdown, I'll probably, I don't want to really mess with the auto drafts, but they'll be going into our savings account over at Capital One 360. So we'll still have that money. So we're not really spending it and it'll still be there should we need it. All of our lifestyle auto drafts, we will go ahead and leave in. I'm Unless this goes more than a month, I'm not going to stop any of our auto drafts. I just don't think it's necessary because I am I am assuming I will be getting a paycheck in February. Melina's before and after care, I can stall on that until about halfway through February before I'll start getting charged. So I will probably push that back as long as physically possible. Swim lessons are auto drafted and if I don't pay it, she loses her place in the class. So we'll discuss that but we'll probably go ahead and leave it in. Spanish classes, we'll probably put on hold. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think so. Miscellaneous school expenses, we're not spending any extra money, and Girl Scout cookies, we're also not buying cookies right now. Mauricio and I will not be getting blow money until this is all over, and Mauricio will still have to have his hair cut, so that'll stay in. All of my YouTube stuff drafts at the end of the month, and I'm really hoping this will be over by the end of the month. It is all auto draft. And like I said, I don't really want to stop my auto drafts if I don't have to. And then the $140 annual fee for my PO box. I'd like to keep the same PO box number, which means I really kind of have to pay for it, but it is not drafted until the very last day of January. So hopefully I'm, I'm banking on the fact that it'll take the government about two to three weeks to get back and running. And once they're back and running and we're, open again officially, then I know my paycheck's coming, so I don't have to stress about it. There will be no paid parking for Mauricio at the office. Well, mostly because he's riding with me and my parking's paid for by my office. There will be no shopping online. So the $100 that comes up every month will be gone. And then the $88 here will also be gone. We will take out the $100 cushion and fantasy football is going to have to wait. But he plays with all government employees, so they're probably in the same boat we are. So they can just chill. And no debt payments will be made. We are ahead in all of our debt payments completely, except for our car. So if we were to skip a month, that would be fine. Everything keeps going as normal. We are so far ahead in all our payments, but our car, we're only maybe $50 ahead. So we would probably with the car make the minimum payment. So all in all, we will be removing this much from the budget and we will still be paying this much. And again, this is all going to change if it's still shut down at the end of the month. I expect this one to go long. I really do. I'm my guess is the 21st. That's when I think that the government will be back in session. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.